No niin, täällä ollaan Slipnotin sessioissa Helsingin Free Record Shopissa. Kuten näkyy suosiota aika kovasti. Tota, Käydään kysyä vähän ihmisten mielipiteitä. No niin, tapasitte Slipnotin hemot, mitkä on fiilikset? Helvetin asiaa. No ei mitä, siihen enää lisää pit. No pientä kommenttia tuli siitä, että kun oli väärä numero hihassa, mutta muutenhan jäis. Ja Slipnot kova bändi. On. Tosi kova. No miltä tuntuu nyt kun sait jotain sotkua levyn kanteen? No silleen, että paikat tärisee. En mä tiedä, onko se että ei ole syönyt vai se, että jätkät pisti nimet. Tai että... Keikalle oot vissiin menossa. Ollaan menossa jo. Miltä, miltä tää näyttää? Tule, hajoako tää kauppa ja tähän kaaukseen lopulta vai miten tässä käy? Ei tää hajo kaaukseen. Ihan niinku, jengi on ihan vitu kills. Vitusti skidee, niin on ihan rela, niin ymmärtää heti pointit. Final in Europe, how do you feel? It's cool. Um, it's making us a little bit... This is the first time we played in two and a half months, so it's like getting us more excited to play the show. I'm glad we did an in-store today. It's, you know, psyching yeah. us up. Definitely, definitely. You know, um... We had we had some problems when we were at home, so yeah, we had we had a long time off, so we're happy to be back out on the road. Okay, is Clown's wife okay now? Yeah, she's yeah, fine now. She's good. She's good. She had she had some surgery, some surgery, but she's all good now. I heard that you have been in Finland already a couple of days. So what have you been doing? We've been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Drinking at the bar. That's all I've been doing. Watching. Well, we, we practiced yesterday. And you know, warmed up the set, and you know, made sure everything was ready to go for the show tonight, and we're in shape, and just been chilling out and enjoying the country. So is everything ready now for the show? Oh, yeah, 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 it's dude. on. It's on. Are you gonna go? Sure. Okay, right on. And that's all that matters. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay. So how how was it to meet all these Finnish fans here? Cool. Yeah, it was awesome. We had a good time. There's a lot of people here. Yeah, we were surprised know. how many people were gonna were actually here. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> It was yeah, dang, it, it was, was cool, man. Was so, do you usually like doing this kind of in store sessions? Yeah, yeah, I like I like to be able to meet meet everybody who, who likes the band, you know. I guess so. Yeah, that's not bad. I like playing better though. Right. It's cool to meet the fans one on one because sometimes we can't really do that, you know, all the time like after the show. So it, this is a good chance. I, you know, I'd, I'd love to do one of these every time we get to play a show. So I'm just glad. You know, we've been, never been to Finland, so it's you know it's cool to get to meet the fans and, and play a show tonight in uncharted territory. And can't wait to play, man. It's gonna be cool. So what is the like most bizarre thing that somebody has brought you to sign? Brought us to sign? You know, some t- oh, uh, people give us more stuff than uh, than the, than there's weird things. To say. You know, prosthetic limb. Someone brought like a prosthetic limb yeah, one time. Yeah, leg and. Like, um, but you know, other than that, signs and, yeah, that's about it. You know, they usually just want their CD signed and stuff like that. They usually don't want something weird. You know, they want a token or something. Mm-hmm. You know, they usually they have to use the leg, so they don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think you had some. Never mind. I'm just kidding. We don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> uh, I think you had some time off uh, during December and November. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. So did you do any music or anything like that? Uh, just I just uh, sat around a lot, sat around and watched TV. Yeah, you know, we, we it was, that was during the time when Sean's wife was really sick. So yeah, we just kind of you know we're sat around and hoped she got better. That was about it. No. It's you know we've been working on some music you know here and there, but right now we're still on the you know the Iowa campaign and you know making sure we get out to as many places as possible and you know the. There's a whole thing with like you know the war situation and stuff. So everyone had to be really you know they're wanting us not to come out of the country, but we're here now. So we're gonna make up for lost time with some really good shows. So are you nervous before this first show now? No, it's time to get it on. I'm not nervous. Well, I'm I'm excited more more excited than nervous, but ready to ready to go play. You know, it's been been a few months, so it's time to get it on. Definitely. Yeah, it's cool. All right. <laughs> So has there been lots of like accidents during the shows? Because I heard that the, there has been like 45 broken ribs among the band and so on. Yeah. What else? There's gonna be probably about 47 or 49 by the end of the night. There'll be at least a few tonight. We're all brittle right now, so an injury could definitely be in the works. Yeah. My knee's all screwed up, so I don't care. <laughs> all right. 
<laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, it, 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 it might be. It might be painful. Who knows? We'll have to see. Yeah. Depends on how the show goes. Well, if this from yesterday, well, I can't really see him. Not too bad, but you know, working on him. <laughs> well, if you think of the craziest tour memory so far, what comes to your mind first? Uh, the cr it depends on what you define as crazy. As far as like great shows and getting out to many as many fans as possible, I think the tour that we just did in America, the Pledge of Allegiance tour, was the craziest tour we've done. Mm -hmm. You know, that's my opinion. But yeah. if you want, you know, work-wise, was the Japan Australia tour. Hey, get that guy out of here. The guy with the nose. Look at the guy with the nose. See? No, I'm not gonna sign it. Beat it. Whatever, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No! Where's Smitty? Fuck you. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay. A crazy fan that wants to be the nose guy. He always follows <laughs> Really? Yeah. All right. And uh, what is the most bizarre rumor you have heard about yourself during all these years We're in the music good. business? I'm not heard, I'm just talking about something. Um, what comes to your mind? Let's see. You know, there's there's the usual like you know there's the guy you know like there's the deaths and shit like that and you know it's I mean the thing is people love to start rumors especially with the, like the internet and stuff like that. You know, there's there's always something weird going around. We don't pay much attention to it, so it really doesn't store in my memory. So mm -hmm. we just really don't pay attention. We just want to rock, mm -hmm. like Twisted Sister. <laughs> I want to rock. What are you doing? <laughs> well, uh, talking about the latest album, is it true that uh, Corey doesn't keep a vocal take if he doesn't puke after the take? Yeah, well, yeah, he, you have uh, to ask him really that. But uh, that is the that? truth. Where he does. He? he does he do that. He throws up yeah. a lot. He's got a very easy gag mm -hmm. It's because he has to smell his own breath when he sings. <laughs> that's probably it. <laughs> so that's why he's gagging. Ain't he? Yeah. Well, then, uh, Left Behind is nominated for a Grammy Award this yeah. year. So how do you feel about that? It's great because it's two years in a row. Not two years in a row, we're going to have our Grammy loser party. It's going to be awesome. Really? How do you know? Yeah, well, I don't know. But, you know, it's, it's awesome. It was, it's an honor to be nominated for a Grammy, I think. You know, it's, you know, it's kind of... Shows that maybe somebody's paying attention. To yeah, doing, so. it's a great honor, man. I mean, it's an, it's an honor to, in the first place, but two years in a row, no one, you know, not many bands get that. I think only Metallica maybe got that once or mm -hmm. something like that, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, a couple of more. Uh, I heard that there's gonna be a DVD out soon. So what's gonna yeah. be in that in that DVD? Well, so I'm part of it in London. I know that. So, um, yeah, we're going to... So is it going to be a live show and some gonna promo be, videos? Yeah, and all kinds of crazy stuff. Fun, fun stuff. So uh, that's why we got Bobby Tongs here. No. Tongs! No. But yeah, no, it's going to be cool. Um, it, it should be out, I don't know, maybe... Uh, March? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, later later on here in the March, April. It should be out. It'll be, it'll it's going to be cool, man. It's going like to be like the full production show. You know, with all our, unfortunately, we don't have like all our pyrotechnics, pyrotechnics and stuff in here in Finland and like these smaller shows because they just wouldn't let us bring it over. But like in London, we're going to film it just like it's a U.S. show. But we haven't been to London for so long. I mean, I think the crowd's going to really go off. Mm -hmm. So we're going to film a DVD there and we'll have plenty of practice because it's at the end of this tour. It's mm -hmm. going to be good, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Then I heard that Papa Roach has written a track called Seed for their next album and it's about your seed. So I heard a version. I'm a version. What's it called now? Called Sid. Yeah. So do, do you know anything about that? I, I, I haven't heard, heard about that. that. I'll, I'll call up. I'll call them up and find out. I don't know. I know those guys, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't hear anything about it. Yeah. Okay. I gotta hear it. Hey. Okay. Hey. Hey. Beat it. Put the game on, 